<laughs> See you later. <laughs> Zone A captured. That's a power play. You took them. Now hold them. You wage war like a true titan. Double down. Zone B captured. That's a power play. You took them. Now hold. No. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Destiny 2 PvP video. Today we're going over a just godly gun. I can't believe no one's using it. It's king of the crop. Cream of the hill. It's the Eternal Blazon. Got a really good PvP roll, so I thought I'd just kind of mess around and play with it. Uh, I had this scope on last game. And I really like the openness of it. I'm going to try this one out too. But Rapid Hit Kill Clip, I mean, I saw this and I was like, yeah, I'll keep it around. And uh, here I am trying it out. Um, rocking One-Eyed Mask just because uh, it, it's probably one of your best for scouts. I think the other one would definitely be Saiten's Ramparts. And then doing Sunbreaker just for fun. I don't know if it has a great uh, long distance game with its abilities Whoa. or whatever. Might could do a little better with bubble, I guess. Probably those two subclasses would be your choice for scouts, though. You, you could maybe get the uh, ammo sliding of the. Uh, what's that subclass? Thunder Crash to work out for you, too. But I think you're probably not gonna get that to go very well. If you're gonna be killing from far away, it's gonna be hard to go get the ammo. Imagine. So with kill clip, you can three tap the head. I uh, don't think you can two tap body. You're gonna get 74 damage with the uh, kill clip activated. And it, it feels really good with kill clip on, but maybe I can show you here. Uh, I cannot. I also hit 54 there, so uh, maybe I got my kill stolen. I would not have stayed in if I knew that. Knew that. Salon. Celian. Selen. I don't know. I hope he gets back soon, though. I'm gonna take out the trash for his mom. Uh, okay, we're finding a good spot. That reinforced wall. Didn't help. <laughs> no teammates with me at B though. We are highly securing uh, A though. Oh, that bow is not what you want. Yeah, uh, you know, with dead man in the game, there's really just not a reason to use any other scout. With 120s in the game, there's really no reason to use scout with the current map design. And I just want to just throw out my opinion. I've said it before, uh, right when Dead Men's came out, actually, that I do not want a scout rifle meta. So I'm not calling for a bu any buffs here. Just kind of trying out a really good roll I got and nothing more. Just enjoying Destiny. Just enjoying using different things. You know, uh, I think a lot of people could you know, relax and just play Destiny instead of... You know, always doing something. Always going for a god roll. Let's see if I can get out of here. I cannot. My team is just not rotating the same way I do, so I'm just kind of going to try to stick more with them. They do seem to be capping a lot, which is keeping us in the game. It's good. They're going to push up their middle here, so I'm just going to follow them. Okay, good, uh, good zoning nade. Bad zoning nade by my teammate. Ooh. Ooh. That charge with lights now. I want to know how I got charged with light to my teammate. Okay. Instead of throwing a nade, I just... Didn't. I love that super activation noise. Oh, oh, we're not dead. Oh my goodness. 
I don't know how I got that kill. This is the Eternal Blazon. Bla Blazon? Is it, Blazon does not feel right, but it's also the most fun to say. So what are you gonna do? Okay. Okay. I think you can also shoot the scout faster than I am. Zone B they have okay, okay. Okay. Okay, we're gonna probably get the tornado. We did, and we're not gonna survive. No. Got a got a little bit of a squad on the other team, actually. The uh, JoJo squad. That uh, show was not for me. I don't think. I can see the zoomer appeal, I'll be honest. I was uh, watching it, like, I watched the, like, sixth season on accident, like, episode one. I thought that was kind of cool, but I tried to start from the beginning, and it was not as cool. A little bit boring. Um, I didn't know, like, gay motifs were, like, a central part of it, too. Like, I thought... They, like people were like making fun of it, like you know, like 2010 style. Like this is gay, but now it's like legit, like super muscular men and stuff. Uh oh, a demon right here. Which is I, I'm not against that. I just, just thought it was interesting. Very anti-American like little culture. I guess anti is not the right word. Like opposite of what you would expect from American culture. Oh, I thought I was about to lose that duel. Very weird show, though. Very funny show. Definitely had that vibe of, like, anime that's making fun of other anime. Which, I, I really liked a One Punch Man, but I don't think that's... Come to me. <laughs> you charged my teammate, my teammate back into that sunspot that I made. That's what a terrible string of existence just for that guy. That was cool. It's like arc on one side and fire on the other side of that rock. Oh, did my team get him? I just started recently... Alright. Just started recently watching uh, Attack on Titan too. I saw someone say like, hey, you should start watching it, it's almost over. Um, I found out that was wrong. The manga, like the written form, is almost over, but the show is like halfway made. So the urgency I had to watch kind of evaporated pretty quickly there, but um, still pretty cool. The first couple episodes were oh, good. Yeah, yeah. First couple episodes were not my thing. Well, I wouldn't say that. It's just kind of boring. Oh, he's going that way. And, um, kind of stuck with it though. I, I, I try to give shows. I'm just gonna solo super me. I think I think if you give up a show before like episode 5, like, you haven't really given the show a chance. Like, you have no idea what the, like, central motifs or, like, main conflicts are most of the time in, like, episode 3. Uh, the only show that I would say did a really good job of being interesting, like, immediately was, uh, Mr. Robot. It, it, I, if you guys haven't watched that show, it is so good. I, uh, I didn't actually finish it, but it is one of those shows... I'm gonna freeze. It's one of those shows that they, like, just ended it. They didn't, like, wait for it to get bad, and then the ratings went down, and then they canceled it. It just, like naturally went the way they wanted and stopped it. Uh, you don't want to be, uh... Really? That man did not chase a scout rifle and he had an SMG. I'm impressed. It's good, uh, good discipline there from him. But yeah, Mr. Robot. On the, uh, recommended Peppers list, for sure. Okay. I'm gonna trade that one, because he just aped in. We had six this whole game, we would have won like easily. We've been five for so long now. The scout rifle is like really bad by the way. 
It feels good with kill clip, but man, gotta get kill clip going first. I might stay in this lobby just to see if I can get a reek with these guys. They're probably gonna instantly leave though. Let's see how we did. 21. I mean, you know, probably most of those were shotgun, but not a bad game. Eternal Blaze on. Uh, if you get a good PvP roll, I wouldn't feel that bad about dismantling it, honestly. I'm a hoarder, so I'll probably hang on to this one. Definitely would recommend. I got this great PvP, a PvE roll. I mean, uh, one for all. Pretty hyped about that. And I always like quick draw. But yeah, let me know if you tried this scout out. Uh, if you haven't, don't worry about it. For real. Um, lightweight, so you know, maybe you hunters that like scouts will enjoy this one a little bit more. But uh, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.